Hello, I'm Jessica. Thank you so much for joining me for today's quick yoga flow. We are going to be focusing on the lower back, hips, and sciatica area of the body. If you're feeling any tension in those areas, of course, you want to be extra careful as we go through today's flow. Although this is a really great preventative workout to loosen up those areas and get ahead of any sort of issues as you work through our other workouts and fitness programs. Go ahead, grab your chair. Other than that, you do not need any equipment and we're gonna get into the flow right now. We'll start here by pulling the core muscles up and then tucking the feet and ankles underneath the knees, knees right in front of the hips, good alignment here. Drop the shoulders, drop those arms down here to the sides, and then allow the tailbone to tuck and curve forward as you pull the spine back towards your chair for a very active seated mountain pose here. Good deep breath in. And exhale, let go of any tension. We'll start with two more cleansing breaths, taking the hands to the heart, low belly, or leaving them to the sides. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, just like that. Great job as you take your next breath in. Inhale, take those arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, let's take a seated forward fold here, going very gently to start. Send those hips further back in the chair if you need to. Forearms can rest on the thighs and just allow the tailbone again to be tucking forward, softening through the shoulders and the neck. Very gently here in the low back as we start. You can slide the right forearm over onto the right thigh or you can take the hand there and we're just going to drop the left arm down towards the floor, encouraging a nice rotation here through the spine, keeping it really light for the low back. Inhale, draw the left arm up onto the thigh and exhale, right arm comes on down. Feel the beginnings of a stretch and just enjoy that gentle stretch. Don't push yourself into a big movement here to start. Inhale, draw the right arm up. Exhale, drop the left arm. Neck goes to whatever position it feels comfortable in. One more time here. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, draw that down. Beautiful job, and inhale, slide that on up. We're going to lean the spine back towards the back of your chair, send those hips forward, step the left foot forward so it's a little bit of a push, sending the body back. We're gonna lift this right knee on up, and the leg, let it be heavy. You can use a yoga strap here, or you can, Take the hands underneath the thigh and we're gonna draw small circles out to the side, on down, just moving the leg bone really gently through the hip here, letting everything open back up nice and easy. You hit areas where it's a little tight or maybe you're feeling a little bit of discomfort. Make this a little bit smaller. It will loosen up in time, I promise. Be gentle with yourself. Drop that knee to the center. Bring it out to the side and roll it up towards the shoulder as it comes back to the midline of the body. Two more, just like that. Great job as you draw it up. And in this time, slide the left leg back in and let it cradle underneath that right ankle. Draw yourself back up, send those hips to the back. Left foot slides under the knee, great job here. Just bring the body tall. Wonderful job here. And we'll go ahead, take this left hand, 
right here to the thigh or to the hip and the right arm is gonna come to the side. We're gonna take a good deep breath in and exhale, turn it across, feeling a nice rotation through the spine but no pain. Inhale back to the center, similar to threading the needle. Exhale to the left, inhale easy. And then exhale to the left one more time. Inhale, draw it forward, right hand comes to the hip. Exhale, left arm turns to the right. Inhale to bring it back two more times, just like that. Smooth and easy. Great job, both hands come here to the center of the body, good deep breath in. And then exhale, reach them forward, pushing into the floor with the left foot to stay heavy and counterbalance through the chair. Nice deep hip stretch here. If it's too much, feel free to back off of it. Allow those hands to fall to the sides as you lower the spine, chest down towards the shin here. Roll the spine back up vertebra by vertebra, little by little, all the way up to the top. Slide that right leg on down. And again, we'll let those hips come forward to the chair. As we extend the right foot out, it presses into the floor. Draw the left leg up, gripping underneath the knee and allow it to be heavy here, so no resistance from the leg. And we will bring the knee on down. Great job. Bring it up through the center, out to the side. Let it roll down towards the floor. The movement may be a different sensation. On this side, it may be bigger or smaller, definitely allow this side of the body to be different than the other. It gets moved differently, rested differently, maybe different injuries. Great job here. Bring it back up to the center. This time, drop it down, swing it out to the left side. Bring that knee up as you bring it back into the midline of the body. Two more smooth circles, just like that, nice and easy. Last one here. As you bring it up to the inside of the body, turn that left foot to the right. Right knee and foot steps into support. That left ankle, hips go back. Bring yourself nice and tall. Great job here. Just sit with the stretch. Find length through the spine to start. Right hand will come to the thigh or the hip. Left hand over here to the side, good deep breath in. Exhale, turn and reach. Inhale, back to the center. Two more times. Left hand comes to the hip. On the exhale, right arm turns over. Inhale to return back to the center. Two more times here, just like that. Back to the center. Stretch those arms out forward. Nice tall length through the spine. Bending right there at the front of the hip. Good, deep breath in, exhale, allow yourself to soften and fold. Bring the body back up, release that foot down to the floor. Great job, we're gonna turn here to the right side of the chair and we're going to extend the left foot out. You can use the right hand to hang onto the seat here. Good, left foot out, toes come all the way up. 
left hand to the neck good deep breath in exhale point the toe drop the neck inhale slide them back up exhale inhale one more time exhale inhale bring it back up release the hand and then send it forward you're still pushing and deriving those hips down into the chair nice stretch here through the back of the leg step that one on in take it over to the left side of the chair left hand can hang on to the back of the seat right foot extends out right fingertips to the back of the neck good deep breath in exhale drop the neck nice and easy no pulling point the toe inhale flex them back up exhale forward inhale up one more time just like that Job. release those right fingertips send those hips back into the chair and reach the hand forward so imagine the lower body coming back and the upper body is coming forward making sure we stay in the chair slide it on back in take it back to the center of your chair and let's go ahead and return to our mountain pose here good deep breath in arms come up overhead exhale forward fold hopefully feeling a little more freedom in this movement fingertips to the floor to the shins to the thighs with the forearms wherever feels good good deep breath in exhale roll the spine on up inhale as you pick it up at the top and then exhale tuck the chin roll it down halfway Inhale to lift. One more time. Exhale. And inhale, connect the spine to the back of your chair. We open with a few quiet cleansing breaths. We will close with those same breaths here. Hands to the heart, low belly or to the sides. Good deep breath in. Let that go. Two more times. On the next inhale, go ahead, sit on up, open those eyes, wiggle those hands together, take a great breath in here at the top. Exhale, bow it forward, namaste to everyone that joined us for this great sciatica and low back and hip yoga. I will of course have more for you guys on the way. Make sure you're subscribed so that you do not miss those. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I will see you guys again soon. Keep taking good care of yourselves. And as always, thank you for watching. I can't wait for the next workout.